following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. Once more, into the breach do we go, dear friends. As we start this day off, a little bit different. Uh, we're down 10 points on the S&P cash volume, 2.6 billion shares. So pretty much uh, exactly where we started yesterday on the uh, upside. Uh, for volume and uh, to the downside, just about the same. So, and eh, what do we got? Uh, not a whole lot yet. Of course, uh, most traders probably thinking about what happens after the close more than what happens before the close. Uh, we'll get into that. Uh, but as always, we kind of meet here between the hours of. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Pretty much every trading day. Uh, anyway, as we said, uh, it's, uh, you know, 10 points up, 10 points down, doesn't do a lot. Uh, but what we have had is a market that has been on a tear. It has moved up a little bit every day uh, for most stocks. Uh, and we're into sometimes 20 and 30 days uh, without uh, a pullback of a great deal of many stocks. Uh, yesterday is one of the days that uh, I thought charts were really talking to me. Uh, they were speaking to me. And it wasn't in a foreign language. Uh, it was in a language that uh, I thought that uh, just about anybody could see, and that was a lot of stocks had made it back up uh, to their gaps. They tried it on lighter volume. Uh, there wasn't a lot of juice out there. I think we could see a little bit of a pullback here. And um, other than that, well, it's time to, uh, I suspect, uh, get this party started. That it's all just a little bit of history repeating. It is history repeating. And on this day, 51 years ago, McDonald's went public. Uh, with splits, uh, it offered you a 52,000% return over 50 years, which is not bad. I think I'd take that. I don't think it would be too bad. Uh, of course, uh, if you started off, I think when it went public, there were less than 100 stores owned by the company. They, uh, over time, uh, basically took out a lot of their uh, partners uh, over time. In fact, I had, uh, I think it had to be in the la late 70s or maybe 1980 or 81 or 82 because I had a friend that had worked at McDonald's for a while and the corporate board had put a McDonald's on either side of his location uh, that he worked and they all they wanted to do was run him out so the uh, corporate could buy the uh, franchisee out. There was a lot of uh, dubious, at best, business practices uh, on and off because of the duality of the company. Some company stores uh, are owned. And, of course, some, uh, I think this, to this day, there are still some uh, stores that are owned by uh, the uh, individuals. But... Uh, Eh, on this day, 51 years ago, you could have bought uh, McDonald's. Now, eh, it doesn't do all that much. But uh, yeah, what else can you say? Earnings tonight is what everybody's looking forward to. And, then, of course, some more tomorrow morning. After the bell tonight, we've got Advanced Micro. We've got Alphabet, otherwise known as Google. Boston Beer Company, mmm, cereal malt beverages, Crown Castle International, Haynes Brands, Maxim Integrated Products, Microsoft, Slumberger, Skechers, Tennis Shoes, Starbucks Coffee, and Visa Debt Cards. And uh, I guess uh, they say it's credit, but isn't it even debt cards? I know are debit cards. 
But aren't Visa cards just debt cards too? Debt and debit. Anyway, uh, once we get through these tonight, we'll wake up to a number of earnings. In the morning, American Airlines, General Electric, Honeywell, Interpublic Group of Companies, IPG. Uh, if you're not familiar with what these guys do, they make a lot of windshields and uh, paint for cars. So that's going to give us a good read, at least in the United States, on that. Kimberly Clark is going to tell us how much uh, paper towels and how many uh, other paper products we saw. Of course, uh, the aforementioned uh, McDonald's uh, has earnings in the morning. And uh, if uh, your uh, girlfriend, wife, uh, whatever, uh, is a big uh, fan of uh, uh, women's TV shows, uh, Stephen Madden Shoes. I, that's, I don't know them, but uh, I understand that uh, that is a big thing. What was that other one? Sex in the City. That's what it was. Everybody had to have Jimmy Choo Shoes after they did it, but they, I think they were doing Steve Madden Shoes, too. But uh, that is tomorrow. So uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on out here. Uh, we're going to probably get going just a little bit early uh, into charts, and we'll talk about some of the uh, stocks that are moving already. Uh, we'll see if we can get some of these up. Why don't we uh, just take a preview of stocks uh, that are going to be uh, uh, having earnings after the bell, and uh, then uh, we'll get into some of the ones that we're moving today. And if we have time left, some of the ones that came up on my scan. Of course, uh, AMD, the uh, rival, if you can call them that, them that uh, to uh, Microsoft. Um, nice move off the bottom, but not a lot of energy. Uh, there's not a lot of future for this company. They continue to sell their seed corn uh, to other companies. And of course, one of the things is that they are the lowest priced chip and we already know from Intel that that low end of the market is also the weakest part of the market. Actually, the high end, the one that you would think that people were cutting back on PCs, is just the opposite. They're buying the most expensive chips for people that are using PCs um, quite regularly. Now, this did get up uh, pretty much into the candle of December 29th with more volume. So there's a little bit more there. Microsoft, of course... Uh, uses their processors in their new Xbox 360. Uh, it was a kind of a backhanded uh, um, help to Intel to make sure they at least have one competitor so they don't get sued as a monopoly, which is always still a problem. But uh, I don't know what you can say. Uh, advanced micro devices uh, just eventually, I imagine, will run out of gas, and that will be the end of it. It's today, that day. I, it's awful hard for me to see with, with the lineup of products that they have that there's anything out here that's going to surprise to the upside uh, more than three bucks. There would have to be something that no one has heard of yet. And uh, for a company that doesn't have much money, I don't know how they went and decided to, to build some kind of Manhattan-like project in secret without any cash. Anyway, uh, I guess we're going to be uh, going to be going to the break here. I don't hear any audio though. Is there anything out there? I'm slim listening. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software 
software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. And uh, we're off uh, almost 11 points now on the SP cash. Uh, the dollar index uh, on the continuous contract is up 15 cents. Uh, probably the biggest thing to me is we've got volume now to the downside, 2.7 billion shares. So uh, eh, one of the first days where we've had at least the same kind of volume we had up in the last couple of days uh, down. So uh, maybe we got something going on here. Anyway, we're talking about AMD. I, it would be very tough for me to see that they've got some kind of Manhattan project uh, making some kind of nuclear device in the background. Uh, to, with uh, to uh, bomb uh, Intel, but I don't see anything out there of that of that level. Uh, they're pretty much relying on other fabs uh, to get their die size down and their price and power consumption. Uh, but uh, the, basically, they cater to what is now the weakest part of the market, and uh, the Intel chips just look like they're going to continue to get much better and AMD is going to continue to lag. Uh, Crown Ca uh, Castle International, uh, again, these are all earnings after the bell tonight. Uh, down in front of earnings, uh, this one, uh, not, not a whole lot of volume, but uh, certainly down a bit, uh, 1.7 million shares. Um, now, you did have this spike its previous high with some volume, the November 4th volume uh, of 2015 at 2 million shares. You spiked it for a second, pulled right back into the trading range of uh, uh, underneath that 88.12 uh, on April 11th. And, of course, down today in front of earnings. Uh, energy from this last low on February 11th is not, not all that exciting, uh, but what the hey. Uh, Google, of course, uh, is had a tear since the lows, uh, it's a huge day of volume uh, did get filled, and that gap was uh, of uh, what's that, uh, July 16th of 2015, and that had uh, what 5.6 million shares. It filled that gap, came back, tested on 6.4 million shares, ran all the way up to 810 bucks on February 2nd, 
uh, eviscerated in a number of days down to February 8th at 682. And uh, you've got a 4.4 million share low out there. So not the end of the world for that. Now we've been moving back up. But here's what I want to show you, and that is why uh, you have to be extremely careful out here. That is, there are a lot of stocks that came down with monstrous energy uh, off of those highs. They've come back and meandered back up and filled a great deal of those losses. But uh, from the uh, February 2nd high down to the February 8th low, this thing had monster energy and monster volume and meandered all the way back up. Uh, pretty much into that candle high of February 2nd, but there just hasn't been any energy. It's uh, uh, one of these things where, you know, it took, what, four days to get blown apart uh, or five days to get blown apart. It, it's taken 35 trading days or 45 trading days to actually get back up there. And for the most part, uh, was a little bit of short covering just every day. Um, watch for that after the bell. Haynes Brands, man, I've got uh, no idea what this thing is doing. Uh, it is after the bell. Microsoft is one that looks very much uh, like Google in the fact that uh, it's got, uh, um, oop, where's Microsoft? Hang on a second. Ghosts in the machine. Uh, Microsoft uh, did touch its previous high, did so on 5 million shares less of the December 29th high that had 41 million shares, did so on April 8th, uh, 19th with 36 million shares. But that's not so what. It, the volume was a little light at the high. Could it come back? It could. What I really dislike is another one of these moves down that had monster energy uh, and uh, there was about 30% more energy from that December 9th high down to the February 8th low than from the February 8th low up to this high on April 19th. So you've got a little lighter volume, nothing to write home about, four or five million shares, you know, a few days before earnings, not a big deal. I just think that they're probably going to come in line. It's very tough for me to see where a bunch of new cash comes in, and that may not be enough as just about every stock in the NASDAQ has been priced for perfection. Maxim Integrated Products came up and finished uh, and touched its big gap down before it blew apart. Let's take a little different look at this one here. There we go. Let's, uh, that was probably a better way to look at it right there. Um, let's do this. Okay. Gap down on the 4th of January, like a lot of these stocks did. Volume was eh, 3.2 million shares. No big deal. Uh, got ripped apart, came down here, did try to test its previous low. Did not ever go through the Fed, January 15th low. Missed it by a few pennies. Uh, volume kind of decreased a couple of times down here. February 9th, this thing decides just to go all the way up and uh, touch this gap down from the 4th of January. And it's kind of meandered back down here a little bit. But, you know, this is the pattern. A lot of energy on the way down, mostly from that December 29th to January 15th move. A little bit of consolidation. And then it started moving up. And with the exception of one day where nothing much happened, out here on the 8th, was that the 18th? Is that right? Yeah, the 18th, where this thing didn't move much at all, but had a huge amount of volume. Um, this thing has not had any kind of real signs of strength. Came up, touched its gap, rolled over, and that is about it. Uh, if there's a stock that looks like it would have a surprise, Maxim, uh, to the downside, Maxim could be it. Uh, but uh, I am not playing that. Cereal malt beverages are on the table tonight with Boston beer. Oh, a nice little wheat beer with maybe a lime. In it. Uh, and, of course, uh, they gap down on, was that a pre-announcement back on the 8th of March? I think maybe something like that. Came down with 400,000 shares. Uh, came back up, tried to fill the gap. Fairly light volume and kind of meandering out here to the side. Uh, I can't get a good read on it. Starbucks also after the bell tonight. And uh, this one is kind of right back up to where it was and has been 
uh, for previous highs. The volume is about the same um, at the high, last high, April 8th out here, and it's kind of meandered up. But pretty uh, good volume as you first attempted to go through the previous high. What you didn't have is a very light energy or decent energy from that February 8th low at 52.63. It's been pretty wimpy. Oh, I forgot to play it. Pretty wimpy uh, from that uh, February 8th low uh, back up to this April 8th high. Um, so volume at the highs. Uh, what you don't have is a lot of energy in these movements. Just kind of a move all the way back up uh, that has been kind of interesting. If you like tennis shoes like I like tennis shoes, when we come back, we're going to be talking about Skechers. Give me a call, 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. Put a message in the den. We'll take you three different ways here in the Power Trading Hour. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we are back. Um, we were going to talk about, uh, um, oh, Skechers. That's what we were going to talk about. Had some emails I was trying to get to through the break. Uh, Skechers, uh, you know, thing blew apart back for a while. Could it surprise back to the upside? It seems like tennis shoes are one of those things where 
uh, for various reasons, uh, it's feast or famine. Uh, it's been famine since uh, this blow apart uh, back on, what is that, the 23rd of October when these guys dropped the chalupa. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of been going on sideways for a nice long period of time. Uh, it would have been nice if this had touched the $24.56 low from November 16th and tested it. Never really has. I would suspect that before I could trade it, I would want it to go back and do that. Uh, but, uh, you know, you've got a nice little consolidation range here, bouncing from about uh, 26 and mid-25s up to the 33-34 area. Um, can't really tell you that there's a whole lot in this one way or the other. Schlumberger. Doesn't that seem like it should be more like a uh, mattress company than an oil company? Slumber J. Uh, anyway, uh, the big oil conglomerate uh, is uh, testing its previous high or close to it. The November 3rd high at 82.43, 10 million shares. Got into it yesterday with uh, 12.1 million shares. Today, just 5.2 million shares. A uh, little candle out here. It has not busted that previous high, but it has gotten fairly close. Energy, actually, one of the nice things is energy uh, from in this ABC up. Uh, basically, uh, the E to D had a little bit more energy uh, than the A to B. So not a bad. Uh, the uh, the uh, B to C, of course, had very light energy. So not a bad-looking chart out here other than the fact it looks like just about everything is in this ABC already. And that's probably the way you got to look at a great deal of the stocks coming out, and that is that they are priced for perfection. Uh, could they go up another a couple of percent on earnings? Yes. Could they also lose 10 or 15 percent on earnings? Uh, I think that is the lay of the land as we go into earnings tonight. Uh, what else do we have going on out here? Um, we have earn. Oh, we've got uh, movers. We need to get into that. We'll go through these fairly quickly, too. See if there's anything. Lines, data systems, um, drop the Chalupa, lots of volume. Um, you know, next low is 176.63 uh, from the February 9th low that is untested. We've got uh, 2.4 million shares already, which blew away uh, both the previous March 18th lows and the April 12th lows. So that's all you got to say about that. Alaska Air, a lot of discussions about takeouts um, down. Eh, I don't know if there's anything exciting about that one uh, other than it is down. Uh, basic Energy, EIIB, uh, Biogen, and eh, most of these biotechs up a little bit. Uh, there's been some good news out of here. Just don't see a great deal of energy out of this one since it got ripped apart ceremoniously. Uh, why I had the puts <laughs> last year was one of our biggest trades, uh, but uh, hadn't done a lot since then. CTXS, which is Citrix Systems, this thing has spiked its previous high, but does not look like it may hold it. Uh, two, what was it? 4.2 million shares going against the October 28th, uh, 2 million share high at $84.17. Uh, we'll have to look at this today. What's the uh, uh, 84 bucks? So it's back into the trading range after spiking and running some shorts all the way up to a, a spike uh, of uh, the high of 90 bucks today and then rolling back and giving a great deal of that back. Uh, Ericsson, um, another one. Uh, this uh, whole electronics sector uh, not doing all that well. Uh, of course, this is a, a ADR, but uh, a big outfit, of course, in Europe. If you're ever over there, everything's got... Ericsson uh, stamped on it like the way everything had Sony and Panasonic stamped on it in the 80s and 90s here in the United States. This one is blown away. It's a February 9th low that had 4.6 million shares. Uh, and, of course, the low from January 15th that had 10 million shares. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't know what else you can say. Uh, blown away. Uh, but uh, that is it. Uh, Jeff E. Um, yeah. Uh, wants to look at Caterpillar, so we'll go and look at that. Uh, Jeff is in Kissimmee. He is not in Lutz, Florida yet, so ever. Um, one of the things that Caterpillar really has had is this move 
back higher. Uh, and without any significant retraces, a great deal of stocks did. We've talked about this for the last couple of days and maybe even a couple of days last week. But this thing's just meandered all the way up since it's February 11th. Uh, pullback without really any kind of significant pullback. It's had a couple of days under the nine-day moving average, and that is it. Uh, you know, to me, I've looked at some other stocks in this sector. It just looks to me like this thing could probably open up at 70 bucks tomorrow morning, and I would not be surprised. But again, it has very little to do with anything other than what they say. Uh, this is one of the companies that has really benefited from uh, stating their uh, earnings and not in gap, but in other terms. And a lot of people have been looking at some stuff out there. And the question is uh, just how far do they push the books on that to make it look good? I have no idea. I'm pretty good at deciding what lots of people will do in the stock market. I'm pretty horrible about deciding what one, two, or three people in the C-suite will say that they're doing out there. Uh, do, 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 do. what else do we have? Green Hill, nice little pop in this, but I don't see a great deal of anything in that. Uh, IMAX, uh, popped right up to its gap, gave it all back here today. Uh, this, uh, gap down on the 4th of January. Like I said, so many stocks, uh, came up, bounced, uh, and now, like, IMAX is giving all of this back. Uh, this energy the February 25th low up uh, to this high never really had a lot of energy compared to some of the uh, big moves to the downside. JAKK, which is Jack Specific, uh, is down a little bit of volume out here. I don't know if you can say a great deal of that. Johnson Controls, uh, pretty. I think this is uh, earnings out this morning. Uh, it is finally back to this consolidation. Uh, shoulder that it had from uh, about the 23rd of December all the way to uh, the first where it started falling apart like the rest of them. You've got some high volume untested lows uh, that go to January 14th at 33.62. 12 million shares came back into the candle, did not pierce it with 4.1 million shares. This one been meandering higher and popped higher today. Uh, one of the ones that's not giving it back out there. Uh, lithium Motors uh, probably needs a little lithium for its manic depressive uh, state today, but monstrous volume. Uh, it's going to blow away everything and take you uh, back eh, right down to the lows. But you've got a 7230 low from February 3rd out here that looks like uh, with the kind of juice you have today would not be problematic to go test. We'll be back in a minute. Make sure and give me a call at 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com like uh, Jeff and Kissimmee or post a message in the den. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. If you're looking to discover a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, don't miss out on the Market Safe Commodity Solution CD from EverBank. This is the second running of their popular five-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD, which gives you exposure to eight equally weighted commodities, including WTI crude oil, gold, silver, copper, nickel, soybeans, corn, and sugar. With annual pricing caps of 70% per component, you could earn up to 70% upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There's no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this indexed CD. 
Don't miss out. Take advantage of this financial resource designed to grow with the times. The May 19th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member. FDIC. John Logan has just announced that he is hosting a workshop Wednesday, April 20th for all TAS Profile Scanner Plus subscribers, opportunities in the current market, and strategies to profit. In this hour-long workshop, John Logan will use the TAS Profile Scanner Plus to give you a current breakdown of the sectors in the market and the opportunities that are present, as well as providing subscribers with the best strategies to trade with to profit when using this powerful piece of market scanning software. Right now, you can sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner Plus at the front page of TFNN.com. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is such an amazing piece of software that we're even offering a no-questions-asked money-back guarantee for all new paying subscribers. Don't delay as John Logan's subscriber event is coming up soon. Sign up now for the TAS Profile Scanner Plus and be up and running within minutes using this powerful piece of market scanning software. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. And we are back. I had a question in the den, and I forget that uh, occasionally we get all new people in uh, both the Tiger's Den and listening to me. They were asking me what these numbers are with the uh, kind of delta-looking symbol next to it. I, I assume that's what they're talking about. Uh, that is my power law vector indicator number. It's in the uh, art of timing the trade charts. I added it. Uh, it is a way of putting together price, volume, and time to see the energy coming in, much like uh, the same way that you uh, get charged for your air conditioning unit opposed to your hair dryer. Um, you know, a big air conditioner, 240 volts out there, uh, sucking the power down, maybe a little bit uh, uh, a, a toaster oven inside your uh, kitchen using a whole lot less. But uh, it's basically uh, the, a very close to the way that you are charged for electricity, time, volume, and movement. You can think of the price movement as volts. You can think of uh, the amount of time uh, just as that, as of time, and, of course, the volume uh, as the watts that the thing uses on the way up and the way down. So it is a quick way for me to go back and look and say, okay, how much activity was there? How long did it take to go up there? Did it go up and stumble up, you know, 50 cents a day? Or did it really move up strongly every day on volume? Uh, but just look at time times, uh, volume times price change would give you a good idea. And it lets me know how much actual energy, um, just like uh, you get charged on your electric bill. Some things have a lot of energy. Some things use almost no energy. Uh, da, 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 what else do you go who Las Vegas sand uh, uh, sands another one dropping the baby Ruth in the punch bowl today down on pretty heavy volume although uh, did recover some of what's happened uh, jumped the creek for this little gap that occurred on the first of March um, you know not eh, 10 million shares you know you're doing that with 17 million shares today uh, everybody thought that you know just uh china was coming back so strong it just seemed to be well oversold that way uh mattel uh blaming it on the barbie today and not uh australian barbie and uh prawns but uh the uh, small doll not selling well uh this went right back into its little gap uh that happened uh, uh, gap up that happened on the 17th of February. Uh, volume is okay. Uh, da, 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 what can you say? Uh, 6.2 million shares. So uh, that gap, uh, of course, uh, being blown into today with 14 million shares. Uh, you've also got uh, a fairly decent gap up uh, on the 2nd of February that had 28 point, let's call it 28.7 million shares. Um, you know, you're back into this, 
uh, you should probably start seeing some decent support in that move up. But uh, my guess is this thing is probably coming back down uh, to at least fill part of that giant gap uh, from the 2nd of February. That takes you at about 27 to 28 bucks somewhere in there. Um, you may not get there, but uh, that was probably where this thing is coming back. And uh, I should have probably gotten that little song uh, in a Barbie world. Da, da, da. Well, it was a stupid song, but man, it, uh, I thought that would be applicable to Mattel today. Uh, another one out here that gets the loser horn today. Uh, is uh, Mellanox, uh, M-L-N-X. Um, hang on just a second. And do, 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 gap up uh, on uh, the 24th of February, 1.6 million shares. That's getting blown apart by 3.8 million shares today. And again, another one that came up with some fairly decent volume on the 28th of January. My guess is that you're seeing a lot of these gaps getting ready to get filled. This one's uh, probably about, uh, what, $40.50 to 40 250, maybe 43 bucks. That huge gap goes back to the 28th of uh, February. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, da, 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 NEM, um, this one kind of shot up this morning. Uh, volume, rather tepid actually. It's going into this candle of the 11th of November. 12.3 uh, million shares to 10 million shares today, but not doing so much there. I don't know if you can read a lot into that one. Uh, another one that, that gets the losing horn uh, is Nate Natural Grocers by Vitamin College. Never heard of these folks, uh, but man, uh, you got to hear about them today. Last uh, low was January 29th, 1659. So 740,000 shares, 1.2 million shares. Already blew through those lows. This thing's been in a downtrend for a while. Um, da, da, da. Okay, uh, nice gap up in service now. This is probably one of the uh, better stocks of the day. So we'll give it a hefty, hefty, hefty. hefty, hefty, hefty. The hefty, hefty, hefty winner today is service now. NOW is the, uh, is the uh, symbol on this. And in fact, uh, let's go to the profile on this. And it is uh, enterprise cloud-based solutions that define structure, manage, and automate services in North America, Europe, and the Middle East, uh, all over the world. It's uh, including incident management, problem, uh, problem management, change management, and request management, as well as service catalog, and knowledge-based information technology for your websites. So they do it all. Uh, anyway, nice gap up here. Uh, one thing that you would like to have seen is some, some kind of the volume that you saw uh, on the move down here from the 28th of January that had almost 20 million shares. Uh, nice pop to come back and fill this gap. But uh, eh, I'm going to call it 6.5 million shares compared to that gap down on a huge amounts of energy. Polaris in, uh, Industries, of course, the maker of uh, a lot of uh, recreational uh, vehicles, uh, motorcycles and uh, ATVs and that kind of stuff, uh, up a little bit. This thing's uh, trying to buck against the $100 mark. A little bit of volume out here. I don't know if you can make a great deal out of it. Uh, Packaging Corporation America. You do want to pay attention to this stock, of course, uh, when it's doing well. Uh, it means that uh, many manufacturers are buying cartons to ship their packages out to consumers all over the world. This did pop up a little bit, went into the gap, and then quickly reversed uh, and uh, took tail and ran. Not a lot of volume either out here for this one. Uh, this is a Plexus. Is P L X S. Uh, when we look at this guy. It gapped down on the 13th of, January, of uh, July last year with, uh, eh, let's call it 870,000 shares. Uh, got into that gap today with 410,000 shares so far. 
uh, kind of backing off of a little bit. So you're starting to see a theme. A lot of these stocks, either on the upside or downside, are having issues. We'll be back in a minute. Give me a call, 877-927-6648. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Uh, and we are back getting into the uh, end of the show here. Um, volume is just ticked over 3 billion shares on the New York Consolidated Tape today. And, uh, you know, I guess, you know, we're off, what, 12 points. Not a big deal. It is one day pull back. But the question is whether or not these stocks can live up to absolute perfection. Again, you know, does Microsoft go up a buck or two or go down four? And I'd say the odds are kind of about 50-50 for both of those odds. Um, I don't see anything that really drives the stock much higher than it is now. Uh, there could be some things that maybe move it down a little bit more, maybe back down to the $52 level, something like that, 51. Uh, not a lot in it. Options don't show a lot of movement either, so uh, kind of tough. And we look at the rest of the earnings out tonight. Um, you know, you've got a little bit higher, and the odds are probably a little better than 50-50 on those. Uh, that They go a little higher. Uh, the question is just how many of these stocks get blown apart 
before the end of the day. Uh, another one that is popping up here today is a PTC. And what does this guy do out here? We've got to get to this one. Uh, to, to, to. Develops software products and solutions worldwide. It operates in uh, two segments, computer-aided design products and uh, an uh, in, uh, interoperable suite of design software for design engineers. Huh, okay. So CAD CAM. Uh, maybe they've changed their name. I bet this is a company that's changed their name and I used to know them. Uh, anyway, it, it did go through the November 3rd high at 3709. Had 1 million shares, 2.4 million shares. But uh, as of late, it is uh, right back under that previous high. And uh, that is not a good thing to do. You've run all the shorts and now what? Qualcomm, uh, this thing has been going sideways for a while. I don't know why this thing made my list, uh, but we will take a look at it. Uh, to, to, uh, true blue is anything uh, but uh, true blue. Uh, it's kind of what you ask. If you hold your breath long enough, uh, you will be true blue. And it may be uh, something like that before you get your cash back. Uh, this one uh, down you know, fairly significantly. Uh, what do we have here for... Uh, Percentage wise, True Blue's off 25%. Uh, monstrous volumes through its previous close of January 11th. Let's go back a little farther than this. Uh, it's everything that you wanted and more uh, if you were short. Um, you got a 1931 low back to April 25th of 2013. Let's see what else we've got back here. Uh, man, when you really break this, uh, this could see $11.84, which is the October 25th, 2012 low. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Um, what else do we have? Uh, truly blue. <laughs> uh, I mean, buyers. Okay. Um, let's see what else out here. There's anything else. UAL. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to see. Certainly a lot of volume. Uh, and, of course, they had a lot of board fights and uh, internal power struggles. Uh, down on significant volume, though. So this kind of actually looks like one of these that uh, is broken. Um, and uh, many times this is exactly the way you get these things breaking the nine day that have been above it for so long with the double repo patterns. Didn't get a good chance to pull the trigger on this one, but you filled the gap, didn't have a lot of volume, and fell over. We will see you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. You're watching Tiger TV.